This entire bicep workout is going to be done using the smaller Kiana Fitness Band. Let's get started. Place the band under your foot, put your elbow on the inside of your knee, and curl it up. Make sure your elbow is directly under the shoulder. The concentration curl got its name because it's concentrating all of the movement and the tension in the bicep exercise. The concentration curl gives you extra height and peak to your bicep. Now ladies, when you wear a tank top, when you wear a sundress, or when you lift your child, your arms will look sexier and you'll feel stronger. Let's do 10 reps. A few more and switch. Place the band under your foot, elbow on the inside of the knee, and curl it up. Nice and slow. Four, let's get ten. Five, six, seven. This entire workout is all about the biceps. Eight, nine, and ten. Okay, for those of you training at home, grab your water bottles. Two hands on a one gallon bottle, knees soft, tighten those abs, shoulders back, curl it up. Good. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now keep the bottle here and add a squat. One. Now we're curling this weight up and we're doing a variety of bicep exercises one set immediately after the other, which means your biceps will get more fatigued faster. This is a very efficient way to train because you're not resting in between sets. And last one. Okay, more household items. There's no excuse not to train. Grab your soup cans. This time, do a hammer grip. Curl that weight up. Five. No matter what type of equipment you're using, whether you're using professional grade free weights, barbells, dumbbells, the Kiana Fitness Ball, or the band, or even soup cans, you always use proper form. My goal here on Fit Mom TV is to show you you can use a variety of different weighted objects to get in a good workout. A few more. Last two. And one. So there you have it. Concentration curls, double-handed curls, curl squats, and hammer curls, you can get in a great bicep workout right at home. Like the core of an apple, the core of your body is central. You must keep it strong and powerful to support all the different motions you do every day as a busy fit mom. Here's a core workout that I personally do three days per week. Start off with the plank motion. Resting on your forearms, keep your entire midsection contracted and tight. You want to be tight and contracted from your nose to your toes, pushing those forearms into the floor, keeping the biceps and shoulders tight, your abdominals, your glutes, your hamstrings, all the way down to your calves. You want to hold this plank position for 30 seconds. Okay, from this motion, you move on to the alternating arm and leg kicks. Again, because we're training the core, you want to tighten your core muscles and raise each opposite arm and leg at the same time. Now you're not just raising your arm and leg, you're actually concentrating on contracting the muscles in the deltoid and the glutes at the same time. So I'm not just lifting, I'm feeling the muscles contract and hold. Do 10 to 15 repetitions on each leg. Okay, still training the core. Moving on to the twist and crunch. Hold your key on a fitness ball. Rest back, tighten those abs, and twist. Four, five, good job, six, Seven, keep those abs tight, contract your obliques. This entire workout you can do in five minutes while you're watching television, while your baby's napping, first thing in the morning, any time of day. This is a great exercise, not only for your abdominal muscles, but also for your shoulders. 
Okay, two more exercises. Lay flat on your back. Raise your hips up off the floor. Tighten the muscles in the upper leg. Put your hands down and kick up. You can really feel this exercise in your glutes and in the upper part of the thigh. Because all of these exercises are focused on the core, you really generate a lot of warmth in the midsection and in the glute area, which means it's working. Ten to fifteen repetitions on each leg. A few more. And finish off with the side plank. You want to do each side, resting on your forearm, pushing up, and keep the body in alignment. And hold this position for 30 seconds. So there you have it, an entire core workout that you can do right at home. Hey Fit Moms, here's the inside scoop on fad diets. Exercise is the magic pill. Okay, every month there's a new fad diet, a new gimmick, a new magic pill. Here's a Fit Mom true story. When I was in Europe, they had pills to help you lose weight, pills to help you build muscle, pills to make you tanner, thinner, and pills to make your hair thicker. And yep, I bought them all. <laughs> but none of them worked. What does work is exercise and eating right. We all live in a society of, what can you do for me? Well, let me answer that for you. Here is what strength training can do for you. Strength training can increase bone mass, increase lean muscle mass, decrease fat, improve your cardiovascular fitness, improve your strength, improve your sense of well-being, and from a multitasking fit mom point of view, you get a better body faster. So exercise and strength train every day and stay fit moms. The squat is the perfect exercise for busy moms or anybody who's busy because you can do it at the convenience of your own home using portable equipment. Let's start off with the free weight. You want to make sure and set your body, shoulders back and down, head in a neutral position, core tight, contract the glutes, holding a free weight in each hand and lower down until your thighs are parallel to the floor. You want to make sure an inhale as you lower down, exhale as you push up through the heels. You can really feel this in your thighs, in your butt, and even in your calves. Notice here my arms are just hanging down, holding the dumbbells. Keep the elbows straight, shoulders back, nice, slow, easy motion. This is a terrific exercise for busy moms because you can do this while your baby's napping. You can do five minutes in the morning, five minutes at lunch, and you still get the benefits of 10 minutes of exercise. Okay, Fit Moms, thanks for joining me today on Kiana's Fit Mom TV. Goodbye from the St. Regis Resort in Monarch Beach, and we'll see you next time.